Hi, good morning and welcome to these products in focus. Uh, most global equity markets are that a little bit higher after Janet Yellen's testimony yesterday, uh, which was kind of very accommodative in regards to not being uh, kind of shoehorned into raising rates too soon. Uh, most of the market basically taken her uh, comments to be more dovish on the US dollar. Uh, most global equity markets are higher and the US dollar is firmly taking the back seat um, overnight and again further this morning with most FX pairs uh, such as cable and euro dollar all higher, whereas dollar yen is a good hundred points lower than where it was yesterday. And as you can see, we're uh, comfortably at an all-time high on the US 30, um, breaking above 18,200. Uh, we're currently at uh, 18,210. Um, and it's probably worth us having an actual look at adding some Fibonacci price projections to this over the next couple of um, next couple of sessions as it builds up more price action above the broken resistance here. So looking at the UK 100, uh, again, we uh, had a, I think we might have had an all-time close last night, incidentally, um, getting closer to that 7,000 7, round number, uh, 6906.8 will be the potential support level. It's, it's broken resistance, now reversed, hopefully anyway, acting as a springboard for further price action to go higher. Japan to the five, breaking above potential resistance at 18.648, longer term potential resistance at 28.68, and um, even though we have seen a bit of a, an increase in, in the yen, this kind of reversal in the US dollar kind of feels potentially a little bit transitory, even with the comments. Janet Yellen basically said that they're going to take um, their view on US rates meeting by meeting, so it's not like they've actually come out and said, oh, we're not going to raise rates this year at all. Um, there are still so, some number of commentators out there that think that it will still happen at some point during the summer. It's just when it happens that's going to have the, the big impact. But today, the foot is firmly off the gas in that regard, and uh, that's caused the uh, dollar yen to go from almost 120 back down to 118, which we'll come back to in just a second. So, actually, jumping on to dollar yen, you can see the volatility as um, dollar bulls actually were anticipating that Yellen was going to be a bit more hawkish than, than what she was. Um, as a matter of fact, if you have a look at the front page of the Financial Times this morning, the, the FT has taken it to be actually relatively bullish, but uh, other commentators obviously and the markets have taken it to be quite um, quite dovish in that regard. So we're back back to boring levels on uh, dollar yen of about 119. Um, not much else to talk about on that FX pair for now until it breaks out one direction or the other. So crude seems to have stabilized slightly. Again, another down day, but only just. Um, it is crude oil Wednesday, so we do have our oil inventories due today at 3.30 UK time. There's a cut in Libyan production output because of obviously uh, trouble in that region, so that might offset any increases in crude oil distillate. Um, so I think that's why you might see a bit of a stabilization. Last number of sessions, when we've had crude oil inventories, um, West Texas taking a bit of a knock, you might not have that same impact today. So gold uh, obviously had itself a good day yesterday, uh, as the, you're very sensitive to interest rate uh, rises in the US. Uh, as that gets called into question, gold gets a bit of a rally. The closer we get to 12.18, the more that feels like that is a pretty significant resistance level again for, uh, for gold. We've almost got a death cross on the moving averages and the other technicals are uh, relatively neutral sans the uh, slow stochastic that's actually firmly in oversold territory almost curving up about to give us a reversal signal as it breaks through that 20% um, level that might add a little bit of technical momentum there uh, well certainly 1218 is a new potential resistance for uh, gold bugs to be aware of but it'll be interesting to see if the dollar is able to turn itself around as more US macro data if it, if it begins to impress instead of being more middling as it has been the last couple of sessions um, moving on to euro dollar, uh, as that Greece um, the Greece data for reform um, for their next tranche of their well for their four month loan extension, incidentally, has, looks like it's, it might be approved. But you're not seeing a huge amount of movement on euro dollar. Um, on the interday charts, you can actually see a bit more spike in, in the euro at first at the expense of the US dollar because of the weakness on the greenback right there. Still firmly in this. Um, asymmetrical triangle formation so we're just waiting for a breakout one side or the other and moving on to cable it's actually getting springing back into life again one spot 56 is the next potential uh, resistance oh, excuse me and uh, as we get quite closer to uh, as we broke above potential resistance at one spot 54.24 that now should reverse and act as a new support level. So we might end up trading in between this range for a little while, but one spot 56 is not that far away. So that would be a, uh, an interesting level for us to break. And that would be our high point for 2015 so far as well, if we broke above there. 
So in regards to economic data, um, China beat expectations of their PMI. So some people are thinking, well, the PMI data there being a bit better than expected means that China might not embark on such a big stimulus program, blah, 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 blah. Um, so you've seen a lot of the Asian markets not had a, a huge rally on the back of that, that data that shows that China's not slowing down necessarily as, as fast as what some commentators would think. And obviously, if you've got that crude oil inventory data due today at 3.30, make sure you've got your alarm set for that if you are trading West Texas. Moving on to Thursday, you've got German retail sales, consumer confidence and employment data, uh, followed by UK GDP, and then finishing up there with um, US CPI, durable goods and unemployment claims. Uh, all of which will be pretty important if you're trading euro dollar or cable or dollar yen instantly. Keep your eye on the chart form as ever, make insights part of your layout going forward, and join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.